Team, uh, Gavin here, and I just want to share with you a very cool new feature that we have within our Growing Younger app. Um, and really it's to do with uh, in-tracking meals, uh, whether it be meal plans or off sort of off meal plan okay really really cool feature to have very similar to my fitness pal um i think you guys uh, will find this very interesting so number one i've just mass assigned everybody in our community to do in app tracking okay which is cool if however you can't do that this is the setting you need to pick on you pick the three dots at the bottom right click on there um and then you go to meal tracker and you change it to full meal tracking right at the bottom okay that's the first thing if that isn't ticked tick that and then you can go back into it so then you click on the knife and fork at the bottom and then you've got your meal plan so let's just say for breakfast um i had carrot porridge balanced okay i can just add that to eight today like we have done all the time however if i get to my morning snack and i want i don't want this i want to add my own meal in i click on the plus button I'm gonna click on meal and it's gonna get me to take a photograph. So I can take a photograph if I want to, let's just say of my, my mouse because I haven't got any food with me. Um, and I can obviously, um, let's just say my mouse is a, a, a protein cookie, okay? This is a recent one I had. I can just click, click on my protein cookie and I can press plus. And now that will add this to my morning snack. If I then say had a, la a coffee or latte as well, I could type in, um, for argument's sake, latte, okay? And it'll give me a whole bunch of ideas. So with this, what I like to do, I like to use grams, not cups. So I'll come in, I'll change it to grams, and I'll just say it's 250 mils or 250 grams. Let's just change it to mils. No, I haven't got it. Uh, yep, mils. Um, and it'll, I know that latte is 128 calories. So I can hit the plus button. Um, and then I'm just gonna X out of this and go back, okay? So then you can see that I've kind of added that in. So to find where your meals are, what you need to do is you click on the X button at the top. Oh, no we don't. Um, oh, sorry, all we're gonna do is click on the log button at the top and the log will already be there because I've changed it around. But what I need to do, because I've already added breakfast in, you can see that at the top there's breakfast. I need, I can't then over, I can't add this to my breakfast per se because I've already logged it. So I need to just pick a different meal. So I know it was a snack. So I'm gonna hit snack, then I'm gonna log it, and then it's gonna allow me to log that in. So it doesn't come into your meal plan per se, but what you need to do then, you just come back to find what you've done. You come back to your dashboard, which is the bottom left, okay? And you can see that I've added two meals and you can see the two photographs um, at the top right there, okay? And all I need to do is click on this and it'll give me a log I've had. So I've logged my in-app breakfast and I've logged my, uh, logged my snack as well and that's just gonna be in there that way. So that's how you do the in-app tracking. Very, very simple to do. I can click on uh, details as well and it'll give me my uh, macronutrient distribution as well, which is really cool. And that's literally how you do it. So you can literally go in and find anything you want. So let's just say, add a meal, uh, I'm gonna skip the photo, um, but what I can do, I can discover at the bottom and I can, I put some stuff in so I could go, well, well no, what if I want toast? See if it comes up. It'll give me all sort of toast recipes for that as well, okay? Also, you're gonna have your favorites at the bottom. Um, and if you hit your favorites, it's gonna have your favorite meals that you've already pre-populated in. So that's kind of how you do it, very, very straightforward. Very similar to my fitness pal, slightly different, but very easy to get hold of. But this is how you kind of make your own sort of um, meals and recipes up. I'll see if I can do another example. Let's just say, uh, I wanted to have maybe a sandwich. I'm just going to skip the photograph for this one. Um, and I'm going to type in, I don't know, uh, Vogel's bread. Hopefully it comes up. Okay. And you can see sliced Vogel's one serving is what would be on the back of the, uh, the, the thing. Usually two slices. I could cl click that one. And then I could say I had some deli ham. I can search for that and it's going to come up. 
and I'm going to say, well, okay, I'll find the right one. Say so deli ham is probably the closest one, four slices. But what I like to do is go by grams. So I'll change it to say 60 grams. Um, it'll give me the calories, hit add. Um, and let's just say I had a slice of cheese as well. It's going to come up with cheddar cheese, let's say. So I wouldn't have a cup, obviously. I would come back to um, grams again. And I will say I had uh, 20 grams of cheese, which is 81 calories. Press plus. Um, done. And then I'd review it. Okay, when I reviewed it, I'm happy that it's in there. So this is very much a uh, ham and cheese sandwich, I guess. The total calories are 388, which we can see at the top. Um, um, and then obviously the list of foods there. I just press log. And obviously again, I, I, I can't, it defaults to breakfast, which is a bit annoying, but I can go lunch, log, and then I've logged in my uh, my lunch. And you can see now that my um, my calories for the day are going up, proteins going up, all the other stuff going up, which is really cool. Um, and if I wanted to review it, I click on that and I can see what I've eaten for the whole day. So very, very easy to use. Uh, play with it. Let, let us know how you go. If you have any trouble at all, let me know. I will do my best to help you. So that is it from me. Have a good day and I'll see you on the next video. See you.